comment if you like airbrush review videos. Me, me, you, oh, you don't like airbrush review videos? No, no, all right. Too, so Boleto Studio contacted me a couple weeks ago and they asked if I wanted to try their machines and I said sure why not I'm already kind of familiar with airbrush systems so I thought it would be a great way to kind of jump back in that and to try something new I get questions about airbrush makeup all the time very popular in bridals there's always going to be a need for it whether you prefer it or not it's kind of you know that's I think that that's definitely personal preference I wanted to show you guys how you get the machine set up and then I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the makeup and I'm going to share my thoughts on the machine and another little treat but you gotta wait and see at the end of the video so the first thing you need to do is you need to have your shades of choice ready I'm actually gonna be doing something different as you can see I have four beautiful shades laid out. I'm gonna be working with all four of them and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing with them in a minute. Then I also have the Luster Drops and I'm gonna be working with that one as well. We have Brown Sugar, which I'm gonna be using for a little bit of color correction. Roasted Almond, we're going to be using for concealing. We have Sepia, which is my actual foundation shade, my regular face shade. And we got Chocolate Cake Honey. That is what we're going to use to contour the face. So now I went ahead and I disassembled everything really quick just so you can see how easy it is to set up this machine. So you see this little random doodad right here? You're gonna turn your machine on the side where the label is and literally click it inside of there. Bam! That took about all but three seconds, didn't it? And then you take the airbrush gun. I've already attached the hose to the bottom portion of it and the other side of the hose goes inside of the machine. Pick the machine up and look for the white connector and bloop. that was easy. That was so easy. Come on guys. Okay. So you take the electrical cord flipper on her back one more time right in there. It's pretty much the only place you can put it. So plug that in. Oh, she doesn't even cook. Okay, she's ready to use. So get your little gun ready. That is considered your holster. That's where you put your airbrush gun while you're not using it. And you have different uh, speed levels. The fast, that's the fastest. You probably won't be working with that one too often. I usually set mine for foundation. You want to set it to a good medium, halfway. And then as far as the foundation goes, we're going to first start with luster drops. So I'm going to put in maybe about three to five drops for my whole face. And I kind of want to use this as a moisturizer. Remember airbrush makeup, for those of you guys that don't know, is water based. You have to be careful when you're using moisturizers that are oil based. Because remember water and oil don't mix. So you kind of want to use something that's going to work with your machine. Work with your foundation, not against it. Generally when I'm actually using it for my face, I tend to turn it back no more than like a 90 degree, straight up and down at 90 degrees or even a little bit less than that. The further you pull back, the more product you're gonna get. You see that? Until you get no more. All right, so I'm gonna go right in and start doing up my skin. What I'm doing is I'm using large circular motions and I'm just going all around the face. You never wanna stop. So the first shade I'm gonna work with is the brown sugar because it's got kind of like that orangey tone in it and I'm using that to counteract some of the darkness that I have in my face. It's just basic color correction. Fortunately, airbrush makeup can be used for so many different things. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, maybe we have a use for her. So when it comes to foundation and airbrush, keep the brush moving, circular motions. Practice with water if you have to. Make sure you don't do one of these numbers and you stop then you get what they call hot spot. What you wanna look for is a gradual change. It's not like foundation where there's instant gratification. I think that for me, I learned the hard way. And with airbrush, it's a whole different ballpark. So now that the bottom half of my face has been color corrected, I'm going to do my whole face with my foundation shade. Depending on how much coverage you want, I would recommend using about five to six drops for medium coverage. This stuff sprays a lot on one shot. Okay, seriously? The DVD recommends like six drops for medium coverage. Pretty sure I use like 20. Okay, I'm a girl who likes what I like, eh? For concealer, the DVD advises that you actually turn the lever on a little bit lower pressure. Let's look up and 
rock the gun back and forth. And then I'm also going to apply some on my forehead and up and down the bridge of my nose. And what I like to do is the closer I get to the foundation, the more I like to pull the brush away so you see more of a fading effect. So really it's not just the gun, but it's how you, you have to learn how to control the gun. Don't let the gun control you, girl. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I think we're good on concealer. Let's do a little bit of bronzing. By the way, when you're working in between shades, just take some tissue and let it spray until you don't see any more color. Now I'm doing just a little bit of contouring. Kind of doing the same half moon, except now I am on the low points of the cheekbones. I'm also going to apply a bit of that into my hairline and a little bit down the sides of the bridge of my nose. And I think I got the desired look that I want. What do you guys think? I think it looks beautiful. It's got an amazing matte finish. I can't believe how matte it feels. Whenever I think of airbrush, I think of like dewy glow because it's water so you think oh I think for kicks I want to add a little bit more of that glow just on the high points of my cheekbones sultry what do you guys think do you like I like it to me this is the definition of no makeup makeup literally like it doesn't look like makeup you don't really see where it ends where it begins especially the concealing part I literally love that if you're that girl that has those really high expectations where you want to look glamorous without looking like you're wearing makeup which is like physically impossible airbrush is probably for you probably for you honey because look at this that's amazing and it took like 10 minutes all with one machine oh my god I freaking I love the way it feels it matches like literally perfectly this is seriously a really really beautiful makeup never thought I could do that with airbrush this is the first time I've actually literally applied myself doing it so round of applause for me go Jackie not bad right all right guys so now that you got a chance to see the demonstration I wanted to give you guys some of my key points on what I thought about the machine so this is actually my third time trying the machine I'm absolutely not going to lie I like it way better now than I did the first few times I use it. I don't know what it is about airbrush makeup, but for some reason when I use it the first time, I tend to go easy. I do the recommended dosage that they give you. Six drops by no means is not medium coverage at all. That's like uh, not even a tinted moisturizer. It's very light. I literally use like 15 to 20 drops to get it to look like this. I would consider this medium to full coverage. Bear that in mind, really go in on the product. If you've never used airbrush makeup before, work your way up because it is very difficult to train your eye to see what your skin looks like versus oh the makeup is on now it takes a few go arounds so be very mindful of that when you are applying the makeup on your face some things that i did notice i went on the website i did my research i saw other people's some other people's reviews on the machine so pros and cons to the machine pros love love absolutely love the foundation the matte finish is amazing I think the shades are beautiful you can get an amazing coverage I love the fact like I said that it's matte whenever you think of water you think of dew you think of wet it's not at all it's water-based but you still get that beautiful matte coverage um, the shade range kudos to Boleto studio I went on their website and I was actually quite impressed they have shades all the way down to like cherry wood dark and that's quite impressive for an airbrush machine because you know me of all people I'm constantly like look if you don't have shades for people that look like me you need to just go out of business so I went on the website and I was actually quite impressed I like I like seeing that in a brand I think that that definitely shows that they take great pride in their products and they're wanting to cater to everyone. I love the fact that I was able to get use out of all four shades. You're not just constantly dipping in one all of the time. I can do my concealer, I can do my color correction, I can do my foundation and contour all in one package. I thought that that was kind of amazing and they're probably gonna last you such a long time. Probably one of my favorite features about this kit is the sound. The fact that it's so quiet, it almost kind of gently purrs. Sometime last year I also reviewed a Diner airbrush machine which I thought was great no doubt but it's a little bit louder so I think that this one definitely I can see putting clients a little bit more at ease and I think it's a little bit more practical because of it's quietness so that's also kind of nice I mean you're doing your makeup and then your friends are thinking you're in there using a vibrator and yeah it ain't going on it ain't going down like that buddy so I kind of like the fact that it's you know 
purrs ever so gently. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What are the cons? What are the cons of this machine? I would honestly say, and this is going to be a big one for all of you, the price. I believe I have the original basic starter kit and that one retails for almost $400. It costs $380. I think that they've been listening to customer feedback because it looks like they were a little bit more expensive before originally because I was watching um, X Sparkage also did a review and um, if I remember correctly there were people that were saying it costs a little bit more. Price is a little iffy because uh, you know when it comes to airbrush machines I usually expect them to be around $200 to $300 depending on you know the brand obviously sometimes you're paying for the name and what it comes with obviously so I don't know what it is that comes with those kits that makes them that expensive but I will tell you this and you would be a fool not to take advantage of it because they gave me not one but two coupon codes and these aren't some little blogger who bloggers be like save 10% on coupon code look no it ain't that kind of game honey if you use coupon code on point 89 and I'm gonna put it in the video you can get this bad boy for 80 89 dollars yes you heard me correctly yes you heard me correctly when I saw that in the email I said hot damn we're talking about the coupon codes that is the stuff I like to see that is a deal that is what I call a freaking deal like you probably will not be able to find a machine like that any cheaper than that I'm sorry for less than hundred dollars I mean come on for those of you guys that are like kind of dabbling with airbrush you're kind of like oh, I'm on the fence about it I don't know if I should try it I don't know if I shouldn't now would be the time to invest in this and then you can find out for yourself if you don't like the machine you can always resell it for those of you guys that are dabbling with the idea of using airbrush makeup and you're thinking I don't really know if I want to try them blah 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 right now would be the time to make up your mind honey you are not gonna find an airbrush machine of that quality this cheap ever you want to wait till next Christmas to find a good deal like this I don't or you want to get trampled at Walmart next year Black Friday I think it's a great I think it is a great investment to have but it also depends on your personal preference because some people swear by airbrush makeup and some people just insist that they don't need it. I, I always thought I was one of those people who were like, um, I don't think I need it. I can work it with the foundation brush. I definitely want to get more fantasy colors. Do you guys remember when I did that Beetlejuice makeup tutorial? Uh, Miss Argentina and I painted my whole chest and face green and stuff. I totally could have knocked that out with the airbrush machine. I wouldn't have had to mix the makeup myself. I could have just bought the stuff. And then it's not nearly as messy as wiping all that cream, putting all that cream product all on your face. It's water-based, so it's so much easier to remove. And um, another thing that I really like about the makeup is it doesn't at all, and I kid you not, it doesn't at all feel like I'm wearing makeup. My skin feels breathable. It just feels good for the skin. It feels lightweight. You can feel that it's there because you can feel that matte feeling. This is beautiful, you guys, and I really think that you will love this machine. I would definitely recommend it um, not only to professional makeup artists to, but to makeup enthusiasts and those of you guys. I know plenty of women that um, use airbrush machines and they're by no means professionals and they're not aspiring professionals either. So I think that everyone can get a good use out of this. Like I said, please use the coupon code because to be honest with you, I would not pay full retail price for it. I'm just keeping it real. So check out the coupon code details down below in the description box. I've got two, one for the HD starter kit and one for the basic starter kit. So please be on the lookout for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy using the machine as much as I do. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys have any other tips and tricks or if you have any um, different things from the product line that you've tried, I'd really love to hear your input. I have a blog post with pictures of the look and um, just more tidbits of information than I talked about in the video or, or any other details that I might have forgotten. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up the video if you like it, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!